Whoa. Oh, God, Justin's drowning. <laughs> this is trap. As I understand, it's this not is at all. what I'm doing is it's trap. It's not. Wait, no, it's, it kind of sounds like the lead singer of Corn trying to make his kids laugh. <laughs> oh God! Is the word. Is the word. That's not what trap music is at all. I want a munch. Squad. Squad. I want to munch. Squad. Squad. Maybe it's time for like an acoustic or like maybe more of a. James Taylor vibe to the Munch Squad opening, a little less scary. Hello, Munch Squad. Thank you. Crunch so sweet. <laughs> um, I've seen Munch and I've seen don't Squad. Don't fucking play in my playground, okay. baby. Come on. Okay, baby. I'm going to go then. I you have know a what? junior then and then I have a full story. This first junior is from Sonic, and it's just like the, the Chicken Sandwich Wars are, are expanding to new fronts. This is what cyber. I think of as- Now a, they're doing some cyber warfare. This is a cyber chicken sandwich <laughs> war. Now this one's popcorn chicken uh, from Sonic. They introduced the new limited time only popcorn chicken po' boy. Huh. A new sandwich influenced by the bold fa- flavor of Louisiana cuisine. Now I did want to, um, th- just the most word salad jumble of nonsense in this quote announcing this um from uh scott the veep of product innovation and development for sonic um cajun delicacies are known for delicious blends of seasonings that culminate in excitement with everybody Fuck yeah <laughs> awesome <laughs> okay that's true. hey good. that's true good good food yes that's true of a lot of delicacies <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, this what? delicacy, the flavors make people what like people it. are looking for in food is flavor. <laughs> uh, okay. With a smoky Southern style mayo, the popcorn chicken po' boy spins a sonic staple that guests know and love with subtle notes of thyme, oregano, red pepper, and paprika, which complement the juicy tenderness in the chicken and bring out a harmony of flavors and a tasty, delicate spice level. <laughs> Can I please be done with my quote? Please, I can't. <laughs> Is that please enough? let me go. I want to go home and see my kids. Um, that's the end of Scott's quote. That is a. Uh, that's good. That sounds all right. Uh, it looks like a good sandwich. It's on a hinge slice roll, but you know, you know how we do it here on the squad. We're not just going to give you a new entry in the chicken sandwich wars because that's honestly. It's a little set. Broaster's in on it, by the way. Broaster, the popular manufacturer of gas station chicken <laughs> chicken cooking equipment, is like, we got a chicken sandwich machine for you. I'm not going to read you that story. Chuck E. Cheese. Ooh. Charles Entertainment Cheese and Munch's Make Believe Band have announced their first ever concert tour. And if Get I may out. say, what better time than now chuck e cheese charles entertainment cheese the number one family entertainment vi- sorry chuck e cheese is the restaurant charles entertainment cheese is the mouse is the yeah yes yeah, thank you the number one family entertainment venue and chuck e cheese isn't even the most the biggest entertainment mouse like no he's maybe three he's like a power three okay uh, they have uh, announced Chuck E. Cheese and Munch's Make Believe Band dropped a new album. What? Summer of Fun. And the iconic it's- group will be hitting the road for their first ever concert tour. Is Munch's Make Believe Band Chuck E. Cheese's Rock of Fire Explosion? I honestly, I'm a, we grew up in like. You know, we grew up in a Billy Bob house, right? You know, like, so I don't actually know. We've you know, only I'm, ever had Hydrox. I've never had Oreo before. <laughs> right. exactly. it's that kind of thing. It's that kind of thing. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to listen to this this track. I'm just saying, if y'all have never seen Billy, you put Billy Bob up against the Chuck E. Cheese any day of the week. Billy Bob. He seems approachable. Yeah, he seems like a kind of bear you could have a beer with. He's a big Chuck friendly e. bear. With a with a bird in a can, and he plays the but then oh, Chuck E. Cheese scares the shit out of me. All the teens like are afraid guy. of Five Nights at Freddy's, but I just can't do it because I'm I've, I grew up in the shadow of this big friendly hillbilly bear, and I love him so much. He I would never hurt boy. me. I trust that boy with my life. Now I don't trust 
that wolf over there, stage left no, or stage the wolf, right, the wolf with the puppet. Dead. Yeah, not even. Don't, don't trust yeah, don't the trust wolf him. with the puppet. The wolf who is a puppet himself, who also has a puppet. Hard pass. No, 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 no. No, thank you. No, 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 no. Uh, good news, everybody. Don't worry. I did manage to secure some tracks yes. uh, from the new Chuck E. Cheese uh, joint. So let's just, let's just, I'm just going to let it rip. Hold on. Like it's so long since we've been together. Oh so come on out, it's such a perfect day. Hey, feels like I've been cooped up inside forever. I just can't wait to get outside and play. Just the stop. It's so good to feel the sun shining down, down on the ground. Got all these hair cores. It's so good to see all my friends are coming around. I'm so excited. So turn up the radio and play my favorite song. I don't need any other, cause it's my song of summer. So let's dance to the stereo and we can sing along. I don't want any other, so sing the song of summer with me. Hey! Okay. So you get the idea. Well, right off the bat, can I acknowledge two things? Yeah. It slaps. Well, slaps okay, and rips first, and trips and bops and fucking hits, and it hits so it hard. A, it kind of feels like this song is about the end of COVID. Oh, oh <laughs> like, no, it, it doesn't kind of feel like that, Trav. <laughs> it is it that. A hundred percent Chuck Charles Entertainment Cheese's tacit uh, acknowledgement of the existence of COVID and how glad he is that it has passed. By the way, fucking Charles, if I could speak to you over here for a minute, I saw your ads in fucking like May of 2020, yeah. dude, where you're showing people cleaning tables and you're like, we keep it clean so mom will be happy too. Open Fuck for off, business. Charles. You've been partying nonstop, my friend. No question. No questions on this. You've not been separate from anybody. You've been partying all, all year. But I also want to acknowledge that this song falls into my favorite subgenre of music, which is songs about other songs. When you have a song that's talking about like their favorite song on the radio or yeah. like, hey, DJ, turn that music up or like, oh, hey, that's not the song? greatest song in the world. Right, exactly. This is just right. Tribute. Gotcha. Songs about other songs that are not the song that we're singing is my favorite subgenre of music. And I can't believe Chuck E. Cheese just added a new track Another to that hit genre. To I, I feel like after hearing this, I have an image of how Charles Entertainment Cheese conducts himself on social media. And I'm not saying that he is like full-blown anti-vaxxer, but I definitely mm. think he's the type to just like be like, I'm just asking the questions. Oh, 100%. Nothing wrong with 100%. this. I'm just asking questions. Oh, I just retweeted it to see what you guys thought about it. To see if it. you guys were inflamed to uh, discussion. Yes. Can I just real quick? I am going to this fucking album. This is like, I thought it would be kind of a goof. This song, this album is 12 songs long. Okay. There's 12 different tracks on here. I'm going to read you all the tracks and you guys get to tell me which one you want to hear 30 seconds of. Song of Summer, we just, we just uh, uh, heard. It was extremely good. Beach Party Bash. Dog Days of Summer, mm. Let's Be Friends, yeah. Ooh. I Dare You Not to Laugh. That sounds like kind of a, uh, you know how I like a lot of rap albums have like improv tracks? Oh, like, yes. That sounds like kind of like that. You know what I mean? I Dare You Not to Laugh, Stay Positive, which I'm assuming is a cover of the Hold Steady song, uh, Lend a Helping Hand, El Rey Guitarista, Fantastic. Oh, Game On, cr Crochet All Day. Crochet huh. All Day? Disco dancing dinosaur party. Fuck. Ooh. Chuck. And then the last song is called Chuck E. Cheese is All About Fun by Chuck E. Cheese. Damn it, Justin. We can only pick one? I know. <laughs> Fuck. I, we'll, we'll, we'll dip in on some of these. We'll we'll let you check out. Pick one. You each get to pick one. I'll each let Justin, you pick one. Justin, I would like to hear Crochet All Day. I think that that's what everyone crochet is Crochet All Day is for. bonkers. Recently, I've been spending a little more time at home, like a lot of people these days, hanging out on my own. <laughs> Filling my time with fun things is really not that tough, but finding that one new passion 
is proving to be rough. Mm. I've done puzzles, mm. tried juggling, coloring magic too. Dystopian. Video Truly. chat is fun, especially when it's with you. Gaming, binge watching, I even try croquet. But nothing has been quite as fun as my new hobby called crochet. Crochet all day. Crochet and all your worries day. all melt away. Fuck. It's better when Whoa. you crochet. Whoa. Crochet all day. That is bracing. Uh, that is okay. The, so- the song's not great, but that that surprise sort of uh, key Modulation. shift out there at the back. Yeah, room. I did not see that, that guy. Fun. It felt like a little Sally Hall yeah. track. Okay, uh, Griff. Yeah. Oh God, what was the one about making you laugh? I dare you not to laugh. I mean, this is a comedy program. Hey Helen, want to play a game? Do you even have to ask? Of course, I want to play a game. Okay. This game is called I Dare You Not to Laugh. And the point of the game is to try to think of funny things to make the other person laugh. And- Hi, it's me, Justin McCoy. <laughs> I don't know what Charles is about to drop on us. It has been, by his admission, a long fucking yeah. year. Yep. So, And he may not. If you're able to keep a straight face without laughing, then you win. Oh, this sounds fun. All right, I'll go first. Let's see if you can withstand the silliness. I dare you not to laugh. I challenge you not to giggle. Do you think you can be serious? No smiling, not even a little. I dare you not to chuckle. Ho, ho, hee, hee, ha, ha. Mm -hmm. Look at this funny giraffe. I dare you not to laugh. What? Oh, you'll never get me to laugh, Chucky. I'm complete. Start. When does the funny shit start, Charles? Oh, you didn't hear Gar Griffin? Please, serious. He said there was a picture of a funny giraffe in the song somewhere. Oh, yeah? How about a platypus wearing a tutu? This pickle high five and a horse. An elephant riding a surfboard. This bumblebee eating s'mores. A kitty cat getting a haircut. This pig taking a bath. A monkey doing a cartwheel. I dare you not to laugh. Okay, so okay, it seems okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's a few things. It kind of there. seems Did, cats sometimes need to be groomed. So <laughs> that one was that one was out of that one was out of sight. I, I, I a platypus wearing a tutu is fucking universally like very funny, and I won't. I funny, like the pickle high fiving a horse. Frankly, I that one I was not expecting that. It also didn't fit the mold. Everything else was an animal doing something, and this was something doing something to an animal. To an animal. Which I, yeah, it's a, it's I like version the, of expectations. But yeah, it kind of feels like so busy. <laughs> it feels like Charles's entire definition of comedy is been so busy, it can be- okay. Something doing something <laughs> to an animal. Yes. Been so busy, it can be frustrating For a breather so long I've been waiting And all the fun that I've anticipated Hey, s- sorry, Charles, are you very busy or are you crocheting all the time? Yeah. <laughs> can you get your story straight, please? <laughs> well, one could be busy. Can't take it anymore, fun is just inside the door What, what are you doing? I'm playing video games. Well, are you having fun? This is my favorite game. I'm having the most fun ever. Awesome! You get to live another what? day. <laughs> this is like, sorry, Travis, say again. You get to live another day. Yeah. I just, I, I hate to just really monopolize a show like this, but I do want to know what Dinosaur uh, Disco Dance Party is. It's all about fun, for sure. I love this. Disco, dancing, dinosaur, party, disco, dancing. Does what it says on the tin. Party, disco, dancing, dinosaur, 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 party, disco, dancing, dinos
So, okay. This she, rule. She escaped extinction. Yeah, she, she escaped distinction. extinction and wrote a novel. Right. Achieved distinction. All right, that's a highlight. I like that one quite a bit. That was, yes, a, that was I, a good track. I, it kind of that, feels like they build a whole album around one single. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so he's going to be uh, hitting the road. Is he coming to... To return to our actual story, yeah. it is a, a celebration at all U.S. Chuck E. Cheese locations that begins May 31st. That's today as the crow flies. Uh, the new summer fun path... I'm not going to read their promotion. It doesn't matter. Quote, we know our guests have missed seeing Chuck E. in our stores. That's the other thing that's worth noting is like they got rid of all Chuck E. Cheese in all stores because mm-hmm. they're like kids. Hate they hate this now. rat. But maybe he'll they'll come to his tour. Uh, he's been hard at work writing music and recording a new album that's sure to delight fans of all ages, said someone there. <laughs> We're thrilled that Chuck E. and the band are hitting the road to rock fans with our iconic fun tracks and signature sounds at beaches and parks across the country. And we're making it easy and affordable for families to keep the summer fun going with, you know, at Chuck E. Cheese. Here's the schedule. June 5th, Pier 60 Park at Popular Scientology Hub, Clearwater, <laughs> Florida. Huh. Show times: ten a.m., one p.m., three p.m. Damn, oh, three yeah. shows a day. That's it. That's three shows. Enjoy your costume, their performers. It's going to be a rough one. Then they're taking the whole production, giving themselves a nice, comfortable week to get on over to Cumberland Park, Nashville, Tennessee, with three shows there. Music to City. Music City. Uh, they're going to Philly and then Atlanta and then Texas. And there's nothing really. Fun. Wait, Austin, where in Texas? Oh, I need to know which city in Texas, Justin. Because do remember, Sorry, I Dallas. D- I, bud. Dallas. I'll fucking drive that drive for Chuck. Yeah, you'll get there for Chuck. Um. So yeah, he 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 is officially Chuck E. Cheese is going on tour long before we are. <laughs> he is getting out there and playing those outdoor venues and uh, having the time of his life. So. Uh, really excited about that. Yeah, that's good stuff. Get out there and see Chuck. I'm sure he'd love to see you. He's been, as he is apparently just telling everybody, really cooped up. Really cooped up. Ready to fuck. But trying a lot of new things, it sounds like. Yeah, he's trying a lot of new things. Yeah. Pretty much. He said he's open to anything. Yeah. (laughs) He has another song, didn't make the album, called um, (laughs) called Dr. Fauci Wouldn't Let Me Have My Fun Break. Uh... (laughs) They had to cut that one for ob- very obvious reasons. Uh, there's another one called Dr. Fauci, Enemy of Fun. Um, <laughs> yeah. Dr. Fauci Hates Pizza is another one that's on the album. <laughs> Dr. Fauci won't admit he's my dad. Yeah. Despite having a lot of paperwork. Uh, this is still an advice. Yeah, do you want to do one more question, maybe? 